Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. Well, I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every okay. is. Every. Well, <laughs> we can go everywhere without the where part. Wait, is it? Forget this. Oh, never mind. Something. <laughs> go somewhere. Do something. Oh, it was I just being a... Change. I want to invent time and space. And I, I know think this was intentional. Is here, and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh. I'm okay. Positive. Oh. I think there's a universe now. Oh. What's it made of? Corks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still okay. very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. The quarks are now happily married in groups of three called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying wow. around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... Happily. Whoa! Great news. The protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news. Oh the God. neutrons have now joined I in. Imagine that, that the, the word is hot is the ear rape. Gas in space. Oh my God. Closer together. Yo, every time we just together. say it, that would be like... Closer together. It's oh my God. <laughs> new shit just got made. Some stars burn out of the guy. Indeed. Bigger stars burn out of the guy. Big shit has happened. Brand new, way crazier shit. Which allows new Holy shit, indeed. stars to be made and then die and explode into space So now stars Whoa. have some stuff around them, like rocks, we got chaos ice, and now. clouds, which can make some very We're going chaos. chaos. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another oh. ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of Oh my goodness. Rocks, which is now Whoa. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update. Hooray! Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. <clears throat> there's nothing in the ocean. <gasps> what? Something's hey. alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant oh. or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean. Micro, oh, it's chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from no Mic space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Cool goes. Using a revolutionary Some. technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. <laughs> then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Ooh, some shit's growing finally. Wow, that's animals and <laughs> it's stuff. It's evolving We're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun no. is a deadly Why? laser. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Now the animals can go. Come on, the animals the spear. Oh, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to uh, walk if there's plants up here? Not so all the time. Some bugs and fish. Indeed. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye. Hooray! And bye, have a good huge, time. including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh fuck! Now everything's oh. dead. Just kidding. Oh, Here are the survivors. That. Keep your eye on oh, this one. Because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Hooray! It's it it a fucking oh. Oh. They're dead. They're dead. Now oh, oh, the shit. <laughs> Here come the mammals. Look at well, those sucks. Breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world. Moving One of them just learned to grab stuff. No, like walk like that. And grab stuff at the same time. Wow. Together to make Return monkey. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Whoa. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Awesome. I guess we're stuck here now. Let's oh, review. Oh, I can't do it. Planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses. Except mine is bigger because I own the food. 
This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. basically. Better farming was just invented Ooh, in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. Sweet dank. The animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food and more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help awesome. food and keep track of the sales. Ooh, now you need no houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more Hell people yeah. things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, we the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? <laughs> Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. awesome. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock, or clop clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah oh, look, it must be the Greeks. Or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? Oh. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people Ooh. I was talking about. It's something now. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Come back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Oh. Must be the only. Okay. The Phoenicians Ten. make some colonies. List. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian oh. Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was Indeed. Really Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, oh, no. just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. Oh. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the oh. gang will be able yeah, to yeah. share the empire evenly between them. Oh, no. Look at Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks. Bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got hmm. spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Ooh. Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself awesome. back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Hooray. Out here, the horse nomads <laughs> Fuck you, obey the law. They would like to ransack your city. Oh! Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. We they just made a brand new road to the world. Wow. Or you can Conquering. get their own water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Aksum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. And it did. Still can't oh, no. cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. <laughs> Said the Ghana Empire. So Hell yeah. Gold. And slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering... Is oh my goodness. Jesus, Jesus! No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't mm. fall. It's the golden age of The jingles. There's the Gupta Empire. Not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Chandra. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. Oh, okay. Barbarian. Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans <laughs> figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everywhere. Learned so many Go things Turks back in the olden days. The Eurasian steppe. Yeah. Great job, Gokturk. Oh. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those Hooray. Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. 
Deep in the Arabian Desert, mission. on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this oh. and maybe conquer yeah. the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow salt. the Pope is still the Pope. He Plus got salt. I wonder if there's room for mores. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of Ooh. nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe. Now I guess we have to so pay a fine for that now. Over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman emperor. Said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. <laughs> then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will wow. later be called France and not France. It's the just Northerners are just Norse oh. if you don't have much just time. They're exploring. They go north. From Looks the north like he was. The north, and they find some land. Two types of land. Now we create a new country, country that's not French. Now we got the lions. Now we got the lions. Such as Vikings. There's the Rus. The Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors. Fair, fair. The Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't Ooh. worry about it. New kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire. It's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Hello, Toltex. Yeah. Goodbye, Toltex. Indeed. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I learned how to build a town. Good and mountains. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded Whoa. most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of the... The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, who controls all the islands? It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Mahajapit. Oh, Italy is really pahe. Pahe. That's, 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 a lot about art that's the correct classics. one. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. No. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer... There's a chance I'm going to butcher that name. Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. Crack. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So yes. he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean. And then discovers the Ooh, Indies ocean. and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. That is not Aztec Japan. and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that you oh, just North. discovered this is internet. The Habsburgs This is the American so side. Many families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big? Which it is now. What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. From Brazil Next, now and then. list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Oh did they God. figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Jeez. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing <coughs> Europe has, Europe you, has so much America, history. Independence and fighting for it. It and certainly does. France is broke. 
and Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got oh. mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea <laughs> no, of revolution, don't. especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished oh, the him to an island. Guy. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out now the South America. Power. So now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put okay, some trains. Good. Hey, China said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game wow. they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. <laughs> nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Jeez, British. <laughs> Jeez, Britain. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape oh. Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who rape it the fastest. What? They never what? got India. Oh. Britain and oh my France God. Are so hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in oh. business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being lost <laughs> America. around. America. Their own government and America. make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. Oh, no. It's going to be a great war. World so war great, one. we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the Whoa. same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain has. Well, now. now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's oh, the 1920s telegram. calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for oh. existing. Japan is finally conquering the East and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard. They should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles oh, no. him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's oh. World War II. Bonus That's round, World Pacific War Showdown. Yeah. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Oh! <laughs> oh. Let's unite all the nations and have oh my god peace. seems legit hi i'm gandhi and if britain doesn't get the hell out of india i'm going to oh god the public. <laughs> wow that worked bonus now there's pakistan actually two i Pakistans. still love that One of them film be gandhi later. the jews and the arabs finally figured out he was the guy that was able to conquer and like the entire united kingdom now of so india happy. well it was during like the time the there's a new china and china the united kingdom occupied uh india escaping to an island i wonder which one is the real china there's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's impossible. Let's Korea. meet the sponsors. Like oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having oh. a friendly debate over which economic system Ooh. is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Oh. Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. The Cold War. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Oh! I don't know about what happens atom bombs. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, <laughs> yeah. so the continents they're pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being Whoa. pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad. <laughs> South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. What? Okay. It took them that long? Technology's better too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a oh. union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember oh. that. Phone call. Uh -oh. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Oh, no. You'll learn everything. Surprise, I it's on the computer. I know what now that your phone's is. a computer, which is in your that pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With bombs. Whoa. I want to print a brain. Oh. Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean 
is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? That's cool. Oh. Now I know, now I know it's quite a bit of history now. <laughs> oh boy. Took 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes for that one.